In this video, we're gonna use Google Stitch and the Playwright MCP to really spruce up the front end and the design and aesthetic of our vibe coding project. I'm Craig Hewitt, welcome back to 100 Days of AI. Let's dive in and see where we're at. So I've been playing around a bit since I left you last with my project. Uh, so this is Catalyst, catalyst.castos.com. So if we go to the real, so if we go to the website, we see this live, it's live, you can sign up right now. It's an accountability buddy for founders and CEOs and business people. So just drop in your email, it'll ask you a few questions about yourself, what kind of role you're in, what kind of, uh, how'd you hear about us, which is YouTube hopefully, uh, and like, and, and it asks you what your goals are for each week. And then it checks in with you on Friday, just to help keep you accountable. And like, this is fine, but it's just basic. <laughs> you know, it just looks okay. It looks like a vibe Cody thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Claude Code to create a prompt to feed into Google Stitch to create better looking front end design. We're gonna feed that back into Claude Code and we're gonna try to use Playwright MCP to give Claude Code visibility to the front end because that's the thing is like LLMs typically don't kind of have visibility to the front end and you need to use something to give it eyes in this respect. And an MCP server like Playwright lets it see the internet and see what's going on. So I think we'll do both of these, but let's just see how this first one with Stitch does. So stitch.withgoogle.com is an entirely free front end design tool. We did a video about it on the channel before. And so what we're gonna do, so we're here in Stitch. Uh, you wanna make sure you have web app selected. Uh, and we're gonna go back to Claude Code. We're just gonna ask it and say, hey, uh, this isn't a good spot, but I want to make the front end just look better. Uh, create a prompt for Google Stitch, right? So I'll just speak the prompt here. I want to use Google Stitch to create better looking front end design for this project. Please create a prompt that I can input into Google Stitch to create better looking design and UI for this project. I will then feed that back into the Claude project here for you to use as design inspiration to enhance the UI and the design of this project. Okay, pretty, pretty descriptive, I think. And let's see what Claude comes up with, Claude code comes up with. So again, just for context, this is Catalyst, um, it's a kind of accountability buddy. We're running Claude code in the terminal here. And this application or screen you see is Cursor. It's an IDE, integrated development environment. You can use anything you want. Uh, I just like this because it is kind of the original AI tool uh, and it works really well with Claude code. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> it's going back through the whole code base, looking at all the CSS and design. And really, if we just flip back to the browser here, like, yeah, I mean, th this looks okay, right? Like this looks okay. This is on brand with me. I made it dark mode since we, <laughs> since we met last. I did that this morning. I gave it the orange, which is kind of my primary color. You know, it has these kind of things down here. Like, this is fine, but like, I just want it to be better. I want it to be like, wow, this is really interesting. Uh, I'm into it. Like, I, I give uh, credibility to this project because I can see that it's like so, so well designed. So, you know, Claude's thinking here, it's been a minute uh, so far. Okay, great. So make this bigger so we can see. Whoa, cool, really robust. Okay, Catalyst is at Founder Accountability, Primary Colors, Landing Page, Onboarding Flow, Goal Setting, Right Thank You Page. These are the pages. Um, cool, okay, so yeah, this did a really good job of kind of summarizing what we have here. I'm gonna copy all of this and I'm gonna plop it into Google Stitch. And it's a big old prompt. So Google Stitch going to have been doing its thinking, design a comprehensive web application for Catalyst, weekly accountability, uh, blah, 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 blah. Google Stitch can create up to six uh, screens at a time. So if you have a big old huge application, like for us at Castos, Castos is my, my day job <laughs> when I'm not creating YouTube videos, uh, it's got hundreds of screens. I would just break it up, right? I would say, hey, we're working on billing and we're just gonna design billing. Hey, we're working on analytics. Hey, we're working on account settings. Hey, we're working on creating a podcast. Um, so six Im uh, images at a time, Google Stitch sure enough will be paid at some point, but it's entirely free right now, which is pretty amazing. Okay, cool, so we have the first of these. Cool, okay, so like a progress indicator, that's cool, yeah, I like it. 
I mean, this this is all like really, <laughs> it's all really similar. Okay, it gives us a bit of a lander here. I do have to say, I like these icons a little better. I don't know about this. Like, we don't have pricing and stuff. Mm, that's interesting. What are your goals for this week? I mean, honestly, this is like exactly what the product looks like now. Um, thank you for joining Catalyst. Thrilled to get you on board. This is what's going to happen. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, I do like the navigation, right? Like, so this doesn't exist, right? So this doesn't exist that like you come and, and you have all this stuff. Uh, it doesn't have a concept of an account yet. Uh, I do like this, the progress indicator. That's cool. Like, let's, let's carry that over. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deviate from my original plan. I'm not going to import this back into cursor because I think that what I already have is really good. I'm going to do I'm going to take a couple of screenshots instead because I think overall it's really good. But what I want to do is say, "Hey, I like this." So what I'm going to do is say like, "Hey, I like this." for the onboarding page. So we'll go back into cursor and we'll plop this in and say, cool. So basically saying, I like this, step one of three, uh, but but you know, e interestingly, even Google Stitch didn't do this. Uh, this would be step two, and then this would be step three, we're done. So I, I just want to say I like this. And interestingly, like the Google Stitch made this a brown color, which I kind of dig. Um, but but you know, it's black right now. Hmm. I think we're gonna stay with black. And to be honest, I like the design that Claude Code came up with. Uh oh, and we're gonna swap out these icons because I like these icons better. Cool. So let's let Claude Code do its thing. It's gonna go away. Do I want to proceed? I don't even know what this is. But yo, it needs to read the image. Yes, uh, it's gonna go away and do its thing. It's gonna come back in just a minute with the progress indicator. And remember, it probably will need HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on the page. So that's fine. We'll take care of it. By the way, if you want to sign up for this entirely free, uh, catalyst.craighewitt.com, weekly accountability and check-in buddy for you. Um, it's just going to ping you for now. Uh, I'm vibe coding this kind of nice in weekends. It's going to have uh, some AI responses built in on your Friday, like, hey, how did you do stuff? Uh, and there'll be a paid tier. So if you want to hear from me directly, there'll be a paid tier for me to give you feedback on your goals and kind of how you're doing in your business. So if you want to check it out, entirely free um, with like a paid option coming down the road, but it will always be free. Okay, so we're making, we're making some HTML, we're making some JavaScript, we're making some CSS probably. Uh, I have turned Claude Code into kind of YOLO mode <laughs> lately, so it's just doing stuff. So I don't expect to have to do a ton of approvals because I trust it. I've been using it a lot the last week, and it's incredible. It's really changed my perspective of coding and software and SaaS a lot. I won't get into it. I won't get on my uh, my soapbox, but uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so it's updating CSS with this progress bar. Pretty cool. So if we go back over here and cheat and hop into this, oh, this is just the homepage. We haven't updated this yet. Okay, so let's commit those changes. Uh, yes, we'll commit those changes, but I don't want to push this live yet because I have more stuff to do. So just when you're talking about Git, so add them uh, and then push them to the push them to GitHub. We we don't want to do that yet. We want to commit this. Yes, but we don't want to push it yet. No, I don't want to push it yet. Okay, cool. Uh, so now what I want to do is go back to Google Stitch and say, cool, I like these icons better. So take a screenshot, go back to cursor real quick, drag this in, and we're just going to try to YOLO this one time. <laughs> we're just going to try to say, hey, update these icons, make it look like this. Do you want to, yeah, I should just say, yes, I always want you to read. My images, that's all I was asking for there. Just because I think these are cool, these are like a little more modern. So I wanna go with something like that, uh, as opposed to what we have now, which is this kind of cartoony thing, which you know isn't terrible, but it just looks a little cheesy, I think. So uh, it's Claude Code going away here. And by the way, just like while this is thing, I just wanna tell you, like if you're looking at this and you're like, oh my gosh, this is in the terminal and it's code, like I, 
I don't know how to code. I know about code. I know that you need HTML and you need CSS and you need JavaScript. But if you don't know any of that stuff, you could come into Claude Code and just say, I want to build a thing. And it would just walk you through this. Okay, so it's done. We want to add this to Git and we'll commit it and everything. It'll just be done. And then it'll be pushed live here in just a minute. You, you can do this. You absolutely can do this. I am not a developer. I am not technically like super proficient. Uh, and I can do this. So if I can, you can, and you definitely should. Because if you don't know about code and APIs and AI, you're going to be toast, right? Like all of our jobs are at risk right now. I won't get on that soapbox too much. But like things like Claude Code, and it's, this is the worst this is ever going to get, right? It's just going to get better, are democratizing software and knowledge and speed. And that's really scary if that's been your competitive advantage. Um, it's really exciting if you're not in that world yet and you want to be. So my invitation to you to get in that world. Okay, cool. So we push this live to GitHub. And if we come over here to our hosting platform, Render, we can see this is deploying and it's going to be a brand new thing. But we can look at this. <gasps> it didn't give me the icons I want. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I trusted you, Claude Code. Uh, okay, well, let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the oh my gracious mercy, none of it works. Might be that like the web server is not running. So this is kind of like restarting the web server. I would be surprised if this just stopped working. I think this is probably like an environment thing. So it's gonna do some troubleshooting about like the environment, the database and stuff like that. This is life, y'all. <laughs> this is not AI, obviously, because if this was all AI generated, you know I would, uh, I would not be running into issues here in this quick little tutorial, but I am running into issues. So yeah, all this stuff it is doing is around like debugging the environment that it's running in. So I'm not really sure. Let's go back to our deployment dashboard and see. Hmm. Okay, so it deployed it live. Oh, and okay, so, oh, cool. This is great. Okay, so what it deployed live has the better icons. This is great. I love these icons. What it has running locally does not. So there's some kind of thing happening where the local environment that it's running is out of date and wrong, which is good because it's not working. <laughs> so we'll just run through this on the live server. Okay, sign up. I want to get early access. Oh, it doesn't work too. Shenanigans. Hmm. Okay. So, okay, at this point, I'm going to pause because this is not the point of this video. The point of this video is like this worked, right? We updated this with like these styling things. And I would suppose if we could see the, the next page, we would have this progress indicator because I trust that Claude Code does this stuff, right? But we have some other kind of issue, which I'll go debug. But in the meantime, I promise by the time this video goes live tomorrow, I'll have this working. Come check it out, catalyst.craigqa.com. And I hope you've enjoyed this kind of bit of a mini series on Claude Code and Vibe Coding. I'll be getting back into other uh, AI tooling and tutorials in the future, but I just wanted to wrap this up because we're really close to having it be done, and it is, so go check it out.